Hey everyone, I'm so glad you're here. We've been learning a lot about Jesus. We know that he's our savior, the son of God. We know that Jesus changes everything. In fact, it's amazing what Jesus can change. One of the most amazing things that Jesus can change are people. Jesus can actually change the heart of people. And we learned a few months ago he did that in a man named Paul. If you remember, Paul was a man who hated Christians. He hated them so much that he would try to arrest them. It was awful. But Paul had an encounter with Jesus on the way to Damascus. And after he met Jesus, it changed everything. Jesus changed Paul's heart so much that Paul spent the rest of his life telling everyone about Jesus and his amazing love. This was an astonishing change. Paul began some journeys. In fact, he spent the rest of his life on these journeys, trying to tell everyone about their Savior. The journeys weren't easy. In fact, being a disciple of Jesus and beginning this journey to follow and to tell people all about him, sometimes it was pretty tough. In fact, when Paul was still in Damascus, he started to tell everyone how wonderful Jesus was. And some of the leaders became very angry. They didn't like the change in Paul. They didn't want Paul to tell people to follow Jesus Christ. And so they came up with an awful plan. They decided that they were going to capture Paul and hurt him. That was pretty scary. But Paul kept his faith. Paul knew if he stood on the rock, solid belief and faith in Jesus Christ, he would be okay. Paul never gave up faith. And then his friends came up with a pretty clever plan. They had Paul go up to the top of a very tall building one night, and they hid him in a huge basket. Then they took their ropes and they lowered Paul inside that basket all the way down outside the gates and the wall of the town. Paul escaped. And you know what he did as he climbed out of that basket? He immediately continued his journey and went on to tell people how much Jesus loved them. Paul never stopped. No matter how hard it got, no matter how long the journey was, Paul knew that Jesus would hold him up. He knew that Jesus was with him, and he never, ever lost his faith. It's the same for you and me. When we put our faith in Jesus, it is a rock-solid trust. Jesus is the promise that you can count on, and Jesus will always hold you up. To show you a little bit more about how Jesus can always hold you up, what I brought in today was an egg. And I was trying to see if I could get an egg to stand up, but every time I let go of it, it simply wobbles. It wobbles and it falls right over. Eggs just don't stand up all by themselves. We're kind of the same way. If we try to do everything by ourselves, we often fall over, we wobble, and then we fall down. But if we put all of our faith in Jesus, if we trust in Jesus, it changes everything. So this time what I want you to notice on the table is I've got some salt, and that salt represents Jesus. The salt represents putting our faith in Jesus. So now I'm going to take that egg and put it right in the middle of that salt. Look at that. It holds the egg up beautifully. That's what Jesus does for you and I. When we put all of our faith in him, he holds us up. He changes everything. That's how amazing Jesus is. I'd like for you to listen to these words. These words were written by Paul. This is from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 16, verse 13. Be on your guard. Remain strong in faith. Be brave. And do everything in love. Trust in Jesus. He is your rock. He is the one that holds you up. He is a rock-solid promise who will never, ever let go of you. Would you pray with me? Let's bow our heads and talk to God. Father God, all of my trust is in you. You are my strength. You are my rock. I know 
you will never let go of me. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you come back again. There's always so much more to learn about Jesus. He's your Savior. He's your rock. And He loves you so very much.